At approximately 2.20 this afternoon, JSO received two calls related to shots fired and a person shot. Uh, investiga investigation at the scene determined uh, the original shooting incident occurred at the intersection of Duval Station and Starrett Road. The victims then drove to the 13,700 block of Lanier Road, where the vehicle that they were in was located. Uh, within the vehicle, uh, arriving officers found six occupants, uh, four black males and two black females. Their ages were all in 17 to 18 years of age. Uh, one of the occupants was pronounced deceased at the scene by JFRD. Uh, four of the occupants were transported with gunshot wounds for medical treatment uh, by JFRD from the scene. Um, detectives are on scene interviewing witnesses. As you can imagine, a daytime event like this, there were multiple witnesses to this incident. We're talking with them now, trying to collect facts and details from them. Uh, I strongly urge anyone with info about this, about this incident to contact JSO at 630-0500, or if they want to remain anonymous, they can anonymous, they can contact Crime Stoppers at 866-845-TIPS. Uh, with that, I'll take any questions that what you have. What reason would anybody want to go down into a neighborhood when the shooting apparently happened in front of Publix? Uh, again, we're early in the investigation. Detectives have only been on scene for a short period of time, but early indications are is uh, the injury suffered by the occupants of the vehicle led them to this location. It wasn't any predetermined direction of travel. They were just trying to escape from the initial gunfire. Is the shooting in any way connected to the car? Go ahead. Is the shooting in any way connected to the one on Deer Song that happened just last week where he was injured? So we've got all of our units out here working together. The violent crimes unit, the gang unit are all coordinating. Again, like we said, it's early in the investigation. We're examining all leads related to the incident, but it's too early to tell right now if it's going to be tied to any other uh, crimes that we're been investigating. Several like multiple victim shootings in recent weeks in Jacksonville. Is this gang related? Uh, again, we have a unit specifically detailed to that. We work with them. We coordinate with them. But to say that all of those incidents are all gang related would be premature at this time. What about the suspects? Are they still on the loose? What's the status of that? Uh, we identified initially potentially a silver SUV. We are looking for additional details on that. As we are able to firm up the suspect vehicle information, we will push that out through the PIO's office and get that out to you. And to do the math again, six people in the car, five shot, one uninjured, Cor one dead. Correction, six total occupants in the vehicle, one pronounced deceased at the scene, four transported with gunshot wounds, one remained at the scene and is being interviewed by our detectives now. Is there any of the occupants of the car students at the school down the street? So obviously due to the age of the victims related to this incident, the natural connection would be to First Coast High School down the road. We have not been able to verify any of that information at this time, but we are working together with the Duval County School Board Police to try to see if it is connected at all. Thank you. Any further information will come forward through the police information officer. Have a good day.